Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back. This is second video on signal sense system MCQ questions. Uh, here I'll be taking up five questions related to uh, five MCQ questions related to the uh, part one of the video. Uh, in part one of the video, I have explained you the basics of uh, finding periodicity of a signal. Uh, in this uh, uh, video, we'll take up five MCQ questions on solving uh, or recognizing how the signal is periodic or it's not periodic. Okay. The fundamental period of the signal x of t is equal to e power j 5t is option a pi second, option b 2 pi by 5 second, option c 2 3 pi by 5 second, and option d it's a non periodic signal. Okay. So we shall figure out whether what is the right option for this question. So what do we have? x of t x of t is equal to e power j 5 t right now this is of this sequence is of the form e power j omega t okay now what is the if you compare this signal with this signal if the if you compare these two what is the value of omega omega is 5 right now as we discussed in the previous uh, video which is part one what is omega omega is 2 pi by t where what is this t it is the fundamental period and that's what we are trying to find here okay and this is equal to what it is equal to pi now if i solve for t t is equal to what 2 pi by pi second okay so correct answer for this question is t is equal to 2 pi by 2 pi by 5 second this is the right option uh, we shall take up the second question uh, the second question uh, says that fundamental period of the signal x of t which is equal to sin 50 pi t is option a 5 second option b 1 by 25 second option c is 25 second and option d none of the above so we will see uh, what is the fundamental period of the signal now what do we have sin 50 pi t as we discussed in part one of the video uh, we have to equate the coefficient of t which is this this is the coefficient of t which is 50 pi to 2 pi by capital T is equal to 50 pi. What is 50 pi? 50 pi is actually a coefficient of this t. Now, if we solve for t, this pi, pi cancels out. t is equal to 2 divided by 50. This is equal to 1 by 25 second. Right? So, option is 1 by 25 second. Option B is the correct answer okay question number three fundamental period of the signal x of t is equal to sine 6 pi t plus cos 5 pi t okay so options are option a 2 second option b pi by 2 second option c 0 0.5 second and option d is a non-periodic signal uh, as we discussed in part one of the video a sum of two periodic signal may or may not be periodic depending upon the ratio t1 by t2 right if the ratio t1 by t2 is rational then the signal is periodic if the ratio t1 by t2 is not rational then the signal is non-periodic when i say rational numerator should be integer and also denominator term should be also integer if numerator and denominator are integers then the sum of these two signals is periodic otherwise it's a non periodic signal okay so we shall check for its periodicity now uh, if i take up the first signal what is this this is actually sum of x1 of t2 signal right x1 of t and this is x2 of t if i take x1 of t signal i have to equate coefficient of t which is 6 pi to 2 pi by capital t is equal to 6 pi now instead of writing t i'll write it as t1 why because since i have two signals here i have to differentiate the fundamental period for this signal as well as for this signal so i'll take it as t1 okay similarly for the second signal for this i have to equate coefficient of t which is 5 pi to 2 pi by 2 pi by t but here in this case it is t2 which is equal to what 5 pi okay so we'll solve for t1 and t2 here so pi pi cancels out what is t1 t1 is equal to 2 by 6 which is equal to 1 by 3 second and in this case pi pi cancels out what is t2 
T2 is equal to 2 by 2 by 5 seconds. Okay, so fundamental period of the sequence x1 of t, which is sine 6 pi t, is 1 by 3 second. Fundamental period of cos pi pi t is 2 by 5 second. This is also periodic, this is also periodic, but we have to check whether the sum of these two is periodic or not. How do you check it? We have to take ratio t1 by t2. We'll see what is the value t1 by t2. What is the value of t1? 1 by 3 divided by what is the value of t2? 2 by 5. And this can be written as 1 by 3 into 5 by 2 this is equal to 5 by 6 is this rational yes right because this is an integer denominator is also integer since it's irrational therefore this signal is periodic but what question is asking us is i have to find the fundamental period of the signal so how do i find fundamental period of this signal fundamental period t is equal to t1 by t2 okay this is how we find fundamental period if we have more than one signal periodic signal added okay so what is the ratio t1 by t2 ratio t1 by t2 is 5 by 6 so we'll write it as 5 by 6 now we'll cross multiply these two what do we get t as t is equal to 6 times t1 6 times t1 and this is equal to 5 times t2 this is equal to 5 times t2 now we'll substitute the value of t1 here and we'll substitute the value of t2 here and these two should be same okay and that will be our fundamental period capital t so t is equal to 6 times t1 what is the value of t1 it is 1 by 3 1 by 3 this is equal to 5 times t2 what is the value of t2 value of t2 is uh, 2 by 5 it is 2 by 5 now uh, this 5 5 cancels out i get 2 this is 3 1 the 3 goes to 2 okay so this is equal to 2 is equal to 2 so therefore therefore fundamental period t in this case is 2 second so right option is a which is 2 second uh, the fourth question is fundamental period of the signal x of n is equal to cos 8 pi n by 7 plus 2 is option a 7 option b 1 option c 10 and option d none of the above uh, mind you this is a discrete time sequence x of n unlike in our previous questions those were continuous time signal x of t here it is discrete time sequence x of n so as, as a little bit uh, uh, the method is same but a little bit change a minor change we have to do what is that we will see so as i uh, as we discussed in the previous video if this is related to phase phase has nothing to do with the periodicity okay so ignore this number only thing is you have to concentrate on the coefficient of this n which is 8 pi by n okay whatever the coefficient of n is there that has to be equated right and equated with what 2 pi by n here it is n okay uh, previously it was capital t if it is a continuous time sequence we have to we will call it as capital t in discrete time sequence we call it as capital n after n capital n number of samples the sequence will repeat that's the meaning okay and with one integer which is m uh, why do we use this m i will let you know okay and this has to be equated to equated with coefficient of n what is the coefficient of n 8 pi by 7 okay so pre, uh, for continuous time 2 pi by t whereas for discrete time 2 pi by n into m okay and what is this m i will let you know now so solve for capital n what do we have pi pi cancels out uh, 7 times 2 14 8 comes here by 8 m stays here itself which is equal to n because i'm solving for n here right now this is uh, 2 7 the 14 and 2 4 the 8 right so what do i get 7 by 4 times m is equal to n okay now I, what is the smallest value of m for which this entire thing when you substitute that value of m here is an integer okay i have to search for a smallest value of m for which this entire thing becomes an integer okay we'll see one by one if i put m is equal to 1 will it be an integer no 
7 by 4 is not an integer. If I put m is equal to 2, will it be an integer? No, right? So 7 into 2 is 14 by 4. Again, this won't be an integer. If I put m is equal to 3, will it be an integer? 21 by 4. No, this is not also not an integer. If I put m is equal to 4, 7 by 4 into 4, now 4, 4 cancels out. Now this entire thing becomes 7. This entire thing becomes 7. Okay. So for m equal to 4, if I put m equal to 4, this becomes here 4, 4 cancels out and n becomes 7. So what I mean to say is the smallest value of m for which this entire thing becomes an integer is 4. Therefore, for m is equal to 4, this number is not important. What is important is n. And what is the value of n? n is 7. When I put m equal to 4, I get fundamental period as 7. After every 7 samples, this discrete time sequence repeats itself. Okay. The correct option is option A7. Now, the fifth question is fundamental period of the signal x of n is equal to cos 0 0.1 pi into n is option A 1, option B 10, option C 20 and option D 100. So we will check what is the fundamental period of this sequence. Again, as we discussed in the previous question, it's a discrete time sequence. If it is a discrete time sequence, have to equate coefficient of n, which is 0 0.1 pi to what I have to equate 2 pi by n into m right so we will solve for n pi pi cancels out uh, 0 0.1 2 divided by 0 0.1 into m is equal to n uh, what is the value of 2 by 0 0.1 it is 20 times m is equal to n right now what is the smallest value of m for which this is integer it's already an integer but if I, what is the smallest value of m if i put m is equal to 1 if i put m is equal to 1 i get n as 20 okay so after every 20 samples this signal repeats itself so right option is option c which is 20